My wife and I spent Saturday tagging the things around our, ho our home and deciding what to get rid of. A lot of the stuff we really like, but we just don't use, and it, it's unnecessary. Next week, after this week, we're taking pictures of it and everything else, I'm going to put it up on upillar.com. I'm going to downsize. Oh, how environmentally friendly of me. I'm going to cut our stuff in half. Oh, somebody should call the Tides Foundation and Annie Leonard. We should get this on the story of stuff. No, no. What am I going to do with the money? Well, I'm going to do something on December 15th in Ohio. And I'll give you more information on that because I'm going to ask you to join me. It's going to be a mini, it's a wonderful life. I'll give you all the details soon. But tonight, here's what I want you to do. I want you to talk to your wife or your husband about reducing your debt, your stuff footprint. And then ask if you will join me on a quest. Not the thing in Ohio. If you want to join on that later, that's fine. This quest. This quest. What could you do with $5,000? However much you have. $1,000. $500. Could you buy extra food? Would it put you in a position where you would be more prepared? Please, talk to your family tonight. Find out. It's step number one in a quest that, I'm telling you, you know, I was just nominated for Time Man of the Year, which I think is a total joke. No, I, I mean, I was honored. And, um, and I'm counting on it, too. Um, here's what the difference is. Forget about the Time Man of the Year. Next year, we're going to be, build the people of the decade. You talk to your family tonight. Have an answer ready for me tomorrow. I'll give you more details tomorrow night. But up next, I have to go back to George Soros. Oh my gosh, George Soros and Sarah Palin's new show. Wait until I show you the unbelievable connections. What is your dream? This day, is a day that we can start the heart of America again. And it has nothing to do with politics. It has everything to do with God. Everything turning our face back to the values and the principles that made us great. We have a choice today. We have a choice. You're not going to believe this. There is another grassroots boycott. Yes, this time of conservative Sarah Palin's Alaska. This is a fantastic reality show, which looks great. It's on the Discovery Channel. It started last night. This is Virginia. She's not actually in the... She's going to help me in here. Come on over here for a second. There she is climbing, and then she meets bears and everything. Well, Discovery is being targeted by environmentalists. Now, it's a grassroots boycott. It must be that regular Americans are outraged at Sarah Palin. Man! Well, the group organizing the boycott is Credo Mobile and Credo Action, which is part of the larger organization. Yeah, Credo Mobile and Credo Action. Now, the larger organization that they're a part of is uh, uh, Credo Assets. These groups focus on progressive philanthropy and activism. And they're also a mobile phone provider, which is great. So your phone calls go to help. This. Now, here's your first clue. Here's their complaint. I am appalled that Discovery Communications, do we have it here? The home of numerous eco-conscious offerings has picked up Sarah Palin's Alaska. She hates bears. Sarah Palin's anti-nature crusade as governor makes her extremely unsuitable to host your show in the lineup. I urge you to cancel the show before it airs. Well, the co-founder of Credo, he's just your normal guy. He's just like you, run-of-the-mill guy, who in his spare time helped co-found uh, the Secretary of State uh, project, which is really kind of a, oh, wait a minute, Secretary of State uh, project? Wait a minute, that's, <laughs> hey, wait a minute, that's spooky dude again. What are the odds? What a small world it is here. Credo also funnels, uh, I mean, donates money to various causes. Let's take a look and see what they fund. Well, first, they fund Media Matters. <laughs> George Soros, small world. They also do the uh, Center for Constitutional Rights, which is also George Soros. <laughs> the militant group, The Ruckus Society. 
George Soros. They also teamed up with the Color for Change, which, or Color of Change, which is fantastic, run by former Van Jones. Van Jones, of course, um, <laughs> George Soros, and uh, he was also uh, formerly with the Ella Baker Center, uh, which is partially funded by Credo. And George Soros, yes, he's there too, isn't funneling, I mean, donating money, just fun when you play it like this. Oh, by the way, uh, this guy also sits on the board of Social Policy Organizers Forum Board with Wade Rathke and Drummond Pike. Drummond Pike, Drummond Pike. I remember these guys. I remember Drummond Pike and Wade Rathke. How do I remember them? <laughs> George Soros, that's right, in the Tides Center, and <laughs> that's great. Oh, also Andy Stern is on that board, and you have the picture of, yeah, he's, <laughs> it's the same group of people, so very grassroots. There's your grassroots boycott of Sarah Palin's Alaska on Discovery, so organic, so pure. May I just point out that it was on the air yesterday, which means... It failed badly. I mean, really super. Gee, Wally, another super depressing failure for George Soros and his evil buddies. Golly, gee whiz, George. Why not donate some money, you know, to maybe like a worthy cause? You know, maybe give it to somebody in need. You know what I'm saying? Instead of burning it with these guys. Because, golly, gee, when mom finds out, She's going to be awfully mad that you're hanging out with spooky, evil dudes like these guys. Mm, gee, Wally. Inflation has already hit the shelves at Walmarts across the country, but don't expect the government to tell you about it. Glenn's got a solution so that you know what is really happening on the shelves. Moms, listen up. This one involves you. <laughs> Tiffany, do we know this man's name? Do we know this guy's name? He uh, didn't give us his name. Oh, I have it here. It it's Albin Sadar. And he wrote this. Uh, he, he made this for our viewers sometimes are very creative. Um, he just dropped this off for us today, and it is Puppet Master Theater. This is me, George Soros. And he's dressed as the emperor, which is very... <laughs> is fantastic strangely all right um can you who can you trust who can you trust can you trust the government and their numbers right now well we know about the numbers for the jobs that they um uh, reported on friday and and they're better than expected that's good right job numbers earlier this month payrolls exp uh, supposedly expanded by over 151,000 jobs it's great i mean look at the headlines here it's fantastic Bad news here, um, they misled you. They misled you. Uh, some people would say they lied to you, but those would only be, you know, the people like me. The government changed the seasonal adjustment. It changed that formula so they could make the, um, they, could, they could boost the job numbers, the, the numbers of jobs created in October by a hundred thousand jobs. In fact, according to John Williams, not the music guy, he works at Shadows Government Statistics. The BLS Bureau of Labor Statistics is fiddling with the figures via what, the, uh, what, uh, what he calls the seasonal factor games. It's actually creating 200,000 phantom jobs just last month. John cites such finagling as the reason his prediction of an October decline and a rise in the jobless rate was so wrong. It also explains why seasonally, why seasonally adjusted payrolls were revised upward by 110,000 uh, 110, people in September, including 56,000 in August. There is also the story of the government uh, 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 claiming that inflation is actually going down. But did you see the secret Walmart survey? Inflation is here, and it is rising. The survey showed a 0.6% price increase in just the last two months alone. At that rate, prices would be close to 4% higher a year from now. That's double what the Fed's mandate says. What it means is you could be paying $5.50 a gallon at the gas pump a year from now, 
and the government will be telling you that gas prices are down because they're playing with the numbers. They always do. We want you to know the truth, but how do we get the truth? I talked to a couple of people this weekend. We've enlisted asamom.org and 912superseniors.org to be our inflation watchdogs across the country. I want to know what's happening in your area. They're going to be checking the prices on the grocery store shelves of the products that you use every day and reporting on inflation weekly so you can do your own homework and be part of the solution. If you want to be part of those groups, if you want to help, we could sure use the help. We'd love some eyes and ears out in the grocery stores and at the gas pumps. You'd be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Check those sites out. Back in a minute. This week, not only the problems, but the solutions. Solutions all this week. Tomorrow, history you never knew that will blow your mind. Also, later this week, food storage. And then on Friday, we started something about the trilogy of holidays last Friday. We're going to work on Thanksgiving and gratitude. You don't want to miss it. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow from New York. Good night, America.